All I want is an air fryer that doesn't try to kill me. I didn't realize they were all made of toxic materials that off-gas into my mouth. If I had a canary, it would die just from hearing the thing run. So I've been researching. Can you find a healthy air fryer? I think I did. But I don't know, man. The rabbit hole goes deep on this one. So I've been cooking with frying pans and ovens like a noob. And I've been wanting to get an air fryer. And I started researching it and I couldn't believe the toxicity, like most of them are made from Teflon and little side rant on air fryer people. You're not consciously awake. If you ask a question like, does this have Teflon? Sure does, so easy to clean. Like you're a moron, it's poisoning you. It's just so hard to fathom how people can be so asleep. Like I'm looking to avoid aluminum. And so I'm looking through questions and People will say like, oh, does this have aluminum? It's like, you can add aluminum foil to the bottom. I add it so it doesn't stick. I'm just, aluminum's bad. It gives you Alzheimer's. So most of these baskets, here's what you have to look out for. The basket itself is likely coated in Teflon, unless it specifically says otherwise. But even if it does, it's likely coated with something far worse. That's the problem. Like you have BPA-free plastic but it's filled with like BPB, much worse probably. Like it's still plastic, it's hell on earth. So when you're looking for a basket, not only should you go for Teflon free, PFAS free, there's all these PTO, EF, PFAOs, <laughs> like all these little acronyms for poison that is in your non-stick basket. You can get one that's ceramic, but is it healthy? I highly doubt it. I had one in my cart for a long time, the Yeti. 6.8 liter ceramic. They're all like super, there's no lead, there's no cadmium, no PFAs. It's like, okay, what's it made of though? Freaking aluminum basket coated in ceramic that might be nice. So I finally just gave up and I found a glass one. There's only a couple made of entirely glass with a just stainless steel little bucket thing. That's not a bucket. No toxins. Thank goodness. But this has to be the dumbest design ever created. Not only does that get super hot, obviously, it's basically a little oven. It sits on this plastic piece of shit hot glass on plastic. So all I smell is burning plastic. I researched for weeks trying to find a toxin-free air fryer. Plastic everywhere. All I smell is nightmares from China. That's the only thing I smell right now. That heating element definitely is made of like rubber and aluminum and lead. But like I gave up. There was the Big Boss air fryer, which is also glass, but it's such a big thing. It would be such a pain in the ass, like this giant lid. I had that thing in Thailand. It cooked okay, but cleaning that thing every night, the heavy glass thing, no. So like, don't be a freak when you're looking for air fryers. Just pay attention to the materials made and stop being a sheep that's about to forget your son exists because you have all these metals in your brain. So Teflon is out. Ceramic is questionable at best. Glass is your only hope. I just, I couldn't find another one. So I bought a little chuck roast. I'm gonna cut a steak. Let's air fry a steak and see what happens. Will I die from the poisonous Japanese fumes of China? Yeah. And no, I have no idea what I'm doing. So this is a grass fed chuck roast. I cut off a big chunk. I have no idea how much that weighs. 552 grams, that's probably gonna kill me. Yes, this is parchment paper. And for your note, a ridiculous thing that should not exist. I was researching parchment paper and apparently some of it has silicon oil coated on. What the hell is that? How is that even possible to make? It's a freaking metal. How do you get metal from oil? How do you get oil from, I'll leave. So you just take your salt and grill glass. Oh yes. Oh, the angle on that is a wrist breaker. 
Can you believe that? That this is just plastic. Hot glass sitting on plastic. Great design, fellas. So we're pressing stuff. We're clicking on steak. Just go steak mode. Okay. I have this fan. It does nothing. It does nothing to exhaust my life. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm nervous. I have no idea if that's properly cooked. It does appear to be browner than it was. That may or may not be a good thing. Okay, final steak. Boom. Oh, wow. It looks really good. Hopefully it tastes all right. So that took about 24 minutes. It suggested 380 degrees for 12 minutes. And then I flipped it turned it up to 400 for the next 12 and that was that so my dinner now consists of an air fried steak surrounded in plastic chemicals I fried four eggs with plenty of eggshells in there I suck at cracking those and a can of salmon with flax oil in it don't even try to explain the omega-3 fights that are happening in that bowl so how does the steak taste, you ask? No, I don't have a steak knife. It's just one of those sharp Ginsu things. Oh boy, oh boy. What does the middle look like? I know you're supposed to let it rest, but let's see it. Okay, it is completely cooked. That's like medium, if not well done. Oh, you're supposed to do it like rare or something. There is the piece of steak. It looks good. Bottoms up to you. Wow. Okay, that was like the best thing to ever happen to my face. Hot oh, damn, that is delicious and perfect. My God. It's so funny, as a vegan, for years, people in the comments were like, eat a steak, bro. I get it now. I understand you. Yes, we all should eat a steak. You know, the funny thing about this air fryer, it's a flip and grill. I didn't even show you that feature because the grill is probably a Teflon piece of crap. But like that whole air fryer, it flips upside down and then the element is pointing up and then a grill plate goes on top and then you can grill on top for some reason. I don't know. I'm never gonna use that, but as an air fryer, on paper it's made of glass it works i'm getting no toxins it's just i don't smell no toxins in my kitchen right now it's all plastic that's all i can smell hopefully that goes away someday but hot damn it works it was just tough weeding through the reviews trying to find an air fryer just the state of humanity down there air fryer people just like it cooked my french fries nice I had a chicken nugget. Only took four minutes. Those aren't food. None of that is food. Real food in an air fryer. Potentially healthy and fun. So, I'm going to leave. How are you doing? Affiliate links available down below. If I can find one, I will put it there. Thank you for thumbing up the video. Thumbs down. If you're vegan and you bought an air fryer to air fry cereal. Just because your frosted flakes are vegan and you added almond milk to it doesn't mean it would be good in an air fryer. The milk's gonna boil, then it's no longer enzyme rich, is it? Wow, that steak. I am looking at you. That's gonna be fun. Not so much the eggs with the shells or the fish thing in the bowl. It's cold. I should have fried that. I didn't, though. I added flax oil. You can't cook it now. It'll damage the omega-3s. I'll leave. You subscribing for more videos? I'll see you later.